Steve pick for Luigi to, you know, set up his drop too. And with the way that Luigi is going to be getting bullied around the stage, he does also have a bigger blast zone, which allow him to live a little bit longer. But we're not seeing Luigi. We see Fox on the screen. Maybe he wants the, the, the speed and the zone breaking capabilities. I'm sure the shine will help too. Yeah, definitely want to abuse your speed and just close the gap between yourself and your projectile heavy opponent, Richter. And again, all these aerials makes it hard for Fox to approach. I like uh, I like Dome, T3 Dome's name. Just press B. He knows exactly what he's trying to do. <laughs> okay, falling there into Rapid Jab is going to give Kong Kong stage control, but Dome just able to escape the ledge trap. And again, all these uh, tilts and aerials, you know, it's like Fox eventually is going to get hit by one of those if it pokes. If not, it's going to break the shield eventually. Yeah, but Fox is also fast enough to where he can just disengage and re just retreat far enough to where he can allow the shield to regenerate. Shields regenerate pretty quickly in this game. Here we go. Then just like that, you know, kind of just like playing the I'm going to whack you and I'm going to run away. I'm going to see if you run into this. Oh, looks like Hong Kong lost control or lost, lost of his uh his read on where these holy crosses and these projectiles are really going. Oh, throwing the holy water in the wrong direction. No one gets a jab uh, for it. There's an air into the the dare into back air, but you know, not going to get anything more off of it. I like what T3 Dome's doing. He's not forcing any approach off. He knows he has the lead. Yeah, he's just slowly approaching with projectiles getting thrown along the way. I mean, Kong Kong could have easily even up the stocks right there, but he down smashed instead of up smash right there. Okay, another Nair. Oh, I like that going for the suicide Nair. Interesting. An offensive Firefox. Dome wasn't ready for it. Oh, that was an up smash. You gotta abuse these up smashes, Kong Kong. Up smash is huge in this game too. It's huge, it's fast, it comes out like frame six. Up smash. <laughs> Come on, man. Push up on the C stick, man. Okay. Oh, I like I, I like the attempt right there, trying to use the the firefox as an offensive option. But if, you, if he's gonna go off stage, especially like abusing the platform, you don't need to land Firefox, you just need to land in there. Keep track of where these Holy Crosses are at, man. All right, oh. S-Smash going to get air dodged, and Tomes just keeping himself in the game. There you go. Now Kong Kong reaching with those uh, those, those Nairs. Right. I mean, Dome at 213%. You know, Kong Kong needs to find this stock eventually. Just an F-Tilt. Up-Tilt. Up-Tilt. Up-Throw. Oh, my God. Up-Tilt. No one will blame you. Up-Tilt. Okay, there it was. He did the, he did the attack. And all that, all that for the up B to kill and you can attack it. Well, I don't think he was going to be able. He had the opportunity to. I mean, I know. That's why I said you can't attack it. Oh, yeah, it. yeah. And yet again, that uh, you know, sweet spot bear is going to clean up the stock. And, you know, that's just, it, it's just going to be looking really bad for Kong Kong. He's just eating more and more damage. And that's, the, that's the issue with these, like, vertical or... These linear recoveries, it does make you very susceptible. Oh, and okay. there's the drag down there. Yep. Can't be starting a Firefox below uh, below the Belmonts. Yep. I mean, that's just like when you're up a stock, you know, you gotta use it. It's kind of like a Ganon side in that sense. I mean, it, it's best of five, so like he has. You're right. He had a game to like throw away there. It is best of five. Yeah. Now we have Joker coming yep. out. Yep, Joker is going to be a really hard matchup for the Belmonts. Oh, really? Yeah, it's just really hard. Because, uh, because of Arsene? Not even because of Arsene, because he can edge guard Belmonts like super well. Oh, I see. Gun. Yeah. Pop, pop. Gun, he can break the zone really easily. He can get Arsene quickly with the, the Rebel's guard. Can't really get juggled. But, oh, that was half meter. Just from there. Yep, and there's almost full meter. There's, yep, there's Arsene. 
Oh, and there's a combo. I'm just gonna air dodge past it. I mean, Comic-Con got Arsene pretty quickly, but... Oh, but no, the fear. The fear of getting hit caused him to uh, SD right there. Talk about fear. Dome has no fear. He does not care what Konkon is trying to set up. You know, keep going out the Rebel Guard. That's cool. Like, I don't care if you get Arsene. Like, the, the key to Arsene is, like, knowing when to use the, the touch of the Konkon. Because, yeah, like, again, like, he knows that, like, okay, you can't hit me with that because I'm just going to outspace your counter. Yeah, we've already seen him do it a couple times. He's very aware of the spacing of the counter. Oh, but that... Damn! Damn, that just killed at like sub 60. Arson, baby. <laughs> Guess what? He's almost back. He's back, baby. <laughs> Let's go. There's the combo, but not going to follow up on it. Oh, finally manages to get the, the counter. Starting to put some damage on the board, but oh, Arson. Going away at the incorrect moment. I mean, this is definitely a matchup where, like, you cannot force the approach. You, you have to wait for basically him to throw out something. Get, get Rebel's Guard, you know, get Arsene, and then you can just, like, swap with him with all your impressive moves. It's almost like how... This reminds me of, like, the old... Cloud play style where you would run away until you have limit, and then that would be your opportunity to go in. I mean, that's it's almost play for play what we're seeing. Oh, and here you go. Here's the edge guard. Not gonna be able to find it. No, kind of went off too deep. Yeah, I like that dome isn't actually utilizing the tether recovery. Because I'm pretty sure he knows that Kongan's trying to scout out the tether recovery so he can just abuse gun make it very difficult to, to make it back. Using down tilt to escape the ledge. 89% Arsene coming out to play. And the one thing that's kind of bad about the Rebels Guard is that you still take damage in it. So, you know, Dome has not been uh, doing all these hits and giving it uh, Arsene for free. You know, he is sneaking in hits here and there, even if it's half damage. Oh, great use of down air from Dome. Making it, making it so that he can recover very low, but Kongan's still able to land the edge guard with an S smash and clean up that stock. Now both players sitting on their last stocks, but 105%, and now Arsen is gone. Oh no. Oh, he's fine. It's, 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 he's got the grappling hook. I think he can recover from the depths of hell. That's true, but he, now he has to rinse, get through this rinse and repeat of holy water um, edge guarding. These ledge traps. Oh, jabs, get him off stage. No. Okay, just chill out, hang out a little bit. There we go, finally gets a combo, but not gonna be able to capitalize on it. Again, you can see Dome kind of struggling to like get back to the center stage and like find his footing again. And Hong Kong gonna get clipped by that Holy Cross. Now sitting at ledge again, rolling. Oh, we're gonna see a forward throw, but it's not gonna be enough. Forced to use the air dodge just to keep himself in the game. Now Arsene is back. Man of the hour is here. Can Kong Kong get off ledge? Oh, he finally managed to get back on ledge, but you know what? A little bit too little, too late. Just kept on eating way too much damage from the ledge traps. Okay. You know what? The Dragon wasn't that bad, though. Yeah. The Dragon wasn't that bad. Definitely had a game plan going in to game two to abuse Arsene. I feel um, like once once he was off stage, like it was bad, but like on stage and in neutral, like it was doing pretty good. But do you? Is he gonna do it? Lock it in. Do it. Joker. Here we Ooh. go. Joker for game three. This is winner stock for Hong Kong. Three, two, one. Yeah, switching go. up the color a little bit. Maybe that was the issue. You know, you never know, especially with like a uh, high level player. Some of them are very superstitious. There you go, quick dash attack to kind of break the Joker's guard. Oh, but you know what? Wow. Gets Rebel's guard off of that axe. That's right, now Arson is here to play. But will Dome give 
Hong Kong a chance to really start pushing some buttons. Oh no, but I don't think Dome's gonna let him do anything if he can help it. Okay, good. Well spaced forward air. Gonna make sure that counter doesn't in fact connect it. Using the holy water, the back hit of the holy cross into up smash. Very stylish. Up air and in there, and it's there, but you know what? Uh, it's damage. We managed to get Arson off of it, but you know what? It was good damage all the way. Yeah, counter lands onto Dome. And now that we're starting to see Dome use the, the tether recoveries a little bit more, I'm wondering when Gun is going to come out. Use that. Shoot him up. Again, you know, all all T3 Dome is doing is just kind of waiting for him to kind of land and then he just either bait out the Rebels Guard or just throw a whole bunch of projectiles. Like, even if he does Rebel Guard, it, he's going to eat a lot of percent from him. Thank you, recovery from the Dome, recovering high, and then fast falling right to the ledge. Kong Kong not able to get a punish. We've seen Kong Kong go off stage quite a bit, but not able to really connect anything. I feel like he's not just sure of like, how. Belmont's move in the air, what they're looking for in the edge guard. I mean, if anything, you know to look for that tether grab, for that tether recovery. Because unless they're recovering high, it's most likely going to be the tether recovery. Okay, down throw. Oh, Rance with an aggressive nair, and you know it gets a combo off of the point fire, but maybe not. Yeah, I wonder if Kong Kong's realizing that the uh, side B from, from Joker is actually putting the the Holy Water in free fall, which will then in fact work against Belmont. Oh no, he gets the bear and he gets the kill, but unfortunately I, I think he fast felt that and then a beam time to get the recovery. Okay, well Dome has taken center stage and it doesn't look like he was ready to give it up and now the table has turned and now Kon Kon is the one continuing to trap Dome over and over. Arza? Going on deck, can he make the most of it? Oh, it looks like Dome is just throwing up his walls, and you know, Arsene not going to be able to put in a whole lot of work in this song. Oh, great, con great connection with the up tilt from the holy water. Looks like he was trying to link it to up air juggles. Okay, back air connects, and now Dome already putting Kong Kong in his last stock, what could potentially be the last stock for this set. Gets the grab on the Rebel's Guard. Oh, dragged out with Nair into F tilt. Oh no, he up in the wrong direction, and that's gonna be the game. Alright, 3 0 Dome, and Dome advancing to winner's finals. You know, with Nitro being absent, I was expecting no some Belmont. different characters in finals. You know what? Dome is basically like the second best Belmont.